Welcome back to the Java tutorial. Today we're going to ask the user to enter an amount of money and cents, and we're going to output the amount using the fewest coins possible. And then we have to use the correct singular and plural names. Example, 45 cents would be one quarter and two dimes. So we have a scanner to get user input, and we have the java.util scanner imported. So the first thing that we do, we need to find some variable. We say int dollars, and have that equal to 100 since we're working in cents. And int quarters going to be 25. Int dimes is going to be equal to 10. And then int nickels is going to be 5. So now we have that. And then we have uh, another variable. We'll call that int sense. But we'll actually get user input from like the user. We can say int sense equals scanner.next int. And then now we're going to need some variables that actually hold like the like the dollar amount and the coin amount. So we could say int, we'll call it num dollars, num quarters, num dimes, and then num nickels. So these variables are actually going to hold like everything. Oop. Let me do one for pennies. We'll call it cents left. These variables are actually going to hold like whatever like you say we have 25 cents, it's going to hold one quarter. So now we can actually start using the math. We can say num dollars equal to cents divided by dollars. So the user enters 100 cents. Num dollars are going to be equal to one. And if there's a remainder, we could have cents left. have the equal to cents we need to see if there's a remainder so there's any cents left modulus dollars and then now we're going to pretty much do the same thing for like all the uh, all the like the what is it, all the coins so you want to get more space to work with them so now we could say cents so we could say oh num quarters we could say num quarters equals to cents left divided by quarters And then we're trying to see how much, how much like cents we have left. We could have that equal to cents left to itself modulus quarters. So pretty much the same thing. Instead of dividing, we're going to find the modulus, which would be like the actual remainder. So we have quarters. Uh, we have dollars, quarters. Then we're going to do dimes. Num dimes equals cents left divided by dimes. And then it's going to be pretty much the same thing. Sense left equals sense left divided modulus dimes to find like the actual remainder. Now we just got to do, now we just got to do nickels. So we can say num nickels equals to sense left divided by nickels. Just going to copy and paste this to find the remainder. Instead of modulus, instead of nickels, instead of dimes, we have nickels. Say they enter a dollar, a dollar five. If you have enough for a dollar, one dollar is going to go up by five, by one, and then cent for is going to be equal to five. You don't have enough for a quarter or for a dime, but you do have enough for a nickel. So num nickels going to go up by one, and then cent is going to be zero, and the program is going to end. Okay, now we have to worry if it's plural or not. First, let's do a case <clears throat> if cents equals zero. So if the user enters zero, we can just end the program. So if the enter zero, we could say, we'll just say no charge. Now let's worry if it's like pro or singular. We could say if num dollars equals equals the one, that means it's only one dollar. So we could print the actual variable, <coughs> excuse me, plus dollar, and then we can have an else if num dollars greater than zero, I mean it's pearl, we'll do the same thing, we'll just stop with an S because it's pearl. 
We do the same thing for quarters. We could say if num quarters equals one, it's only going to be one quarter. But else if num quarters greater than zero, we'll just print out the program with quarters. Pretty similar, I'm just gonna copy and paste the same thing and just do it for dimes. Where's num dimes? Num dimes equals one, we'll print nine num number of dimes and then we'll print dime. I also have num dimes greater than zero, we'll print num dimes. Instead of one dime, it's gonna be dimes. And we'll do nickels. There it is. Num nickels equals one. We'll print out num nickels. Then we'll print out nickel, just a singular pro, singular version. Num nickels greater than zero. We'll print out nickels. This time it's not hard. It's just a lot of copy and pasting. And now we'll do the same th same thing with cents left. If cents left equals one, we'll do cents left. And then we'll make it say penny. If cents left is greater than zero, we could do cents left. We could say, is it pennies? Yes, like that. It's not, it's not NYS, it's N I E S. Okay. So let's do like a practice runner in our head. Say the enter 110, $1.10. So it's going to be 110 cents divided by dollars. You get enough for one dollar. So cents left, num number of dollars would be one, and then seven cents left would have ten in there. You don't have enough for a quarter, but you do have enough for a dime. So number of dimes would be one, but you'd have zero cents left. So we would exit out of this because you can't do nickels either. Uh, cents left, our cents is not equal to zero, so we're not going to print that. So we're going to have one dollar. So we're going to print num dollars one dollar. We're going to skip quarters because we don't have a quarter. We're going to have one dime. You're going to print the number of dimes and then the, like, the actual dime because it's singular. So let's do a test run. Let's do 110. So we're working in terms of like cents. Would be $1, one dime. Let's do 105. $1, one nickel. Let's do the actual example. Let's do 45 cents. One quarter, two dimes. Looks like the program's working. And if this helped you at all or you just enjoyed watching, please leave a like and subscribe.